Islamic Arts and Crafts, Part 2. In the previous segment, I talked about the importance of decorating surfaces in the art of the Islamic lands. In Part 2 of our current chapter, I will be focusing on the art of decorating using a specific tool, the word. The art of calligraphy in the context of what is believed to have been communicated through words from God to Prophet Muhammad is highly regarded, but it is not exclusively utilized for sacred purposes. The art of poetry among the inhabitants of the Arabian Peninsula, as mentioned earlier in the semester, was seen as the language of wisdom. The poets were viewed as sages and prophets, therefore communicating eloquently with words was rather at an advanced level in the region. In pre-Islamic times, the most articulate sayings and poems had the honor of being hung from the Kaaba, hence were called mu'allaqat, or the suspended ones. In a community or culture that relies on words, but the majority of people are not educated to read and write, poetry and rhyming made perfect sense to remember the collective experiences. For this reason, having distinguished poets among a tribe was viewed as prestigious as it contributed to and preserved their history. The poets or the soothsayers often told stories of their people's lives. They celebrated their victories and lamented their defeats and even denigrated other tribes by reciting satirical poems about them. Currently, however, there are only the Quranic verses that are found in gold and silver embroidery decorating the kiswa or the garment of Kaaba. In addition to using words to express, poetry was used to document and to decorate. The art of calligraphy as a result was developed to display such complex forms and styles that sometimes made it difficult to read, thus inclining more toward decorative than recording or informing. Learning about the style of various Arabic scripts becomes fascinating when one realizes that the letters of the language that is derived from pre-Islamic cultures such as Nabataeans do not include vowels except for the first letter, letter A or Alif. The meaning would have been understood from the context. Furthermore, the various styles and proportions were developed out of a system that measures the size of the letters in dots, for example, where the letters are more slender and tall, there would be more dots used. The art of calligraphy in all its capacities can be seen in many places, such as decorating the objects, architecture and architectural elements, textile, as well as books. The ceramic bowl from 10th century Nishabur is an example of an object with decorative Kufic script adorning its surface parameter. Stucco carvings on the architectural element of Merab, in this case the Old Jaitu Merab, that reveal the calligraphic border and under the arch decoration with a rich texture is another example. There is also the use of calligraphy in textile design of which this Spanish silk fragment with its brilliant colors is a luxurious sample. Finally, the calligraphy in books frequently appeared for documenting history, poetry, as well as scientific writings. In a page from an illuminated manuscript called Kitab fi Ma'rifat al al-Handasiya, Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices by al jazari from the 14th century, we see a drawing of an automaton water dispenser. The inscription sometimes contained pearls of wisdom and was meant to enhance the experience of the user. An Egyptian pen box, a similar but rather a later example than this image, from the early 14th century bears an inscription that translates as Open the pen box of happiness through elevation, high rank, and continuing glory. Its pen, when they take its ink, are the poison of injustice and the conqueror of the stubborn enemy. Some argue that calligraphy for Islamic art was a great decorative idea 
because it allowed one to be creative yet remain abstract and adherent to the law of prohibition of figurative imagery. Although the integration of human heads with calligraphic elements seem to have been another way such designs were further enhanced. In this pen box, the extended vertical lines of the inscriptions that wrap around the box are rounded and simplified facial features are added to resemble human heads. Such design Possibly seen better in this example, the Harati Ur Reposé birds accentuate the silhouette of the vessels. And I'm pointing to these. While the human heads peer through the interlocking vertical lines. Seen better in this close up. Calligraphy in architecture, particularly in religious architecture, has been a significant tool in meaningful decoration. Whether in the interior space such as Mirab or the exterior space such as the vaulted entrance, text has been frequently used to adorn the surface. On the left, the mosaic Mirab has as its calligraphic decoration three different scripts or calligraphic styles. On the outer panel, written in white and bold soloth characters, is a quote from the Quran 9 18 to 22. Around the pointed arch in dark color inscription against white background and in decorative kufic, there is a hadith on the five pillars of the faith. At the center of the niche, the reference is to the hadith that translates as the mosque is the house of every pious person. The image on the right, typical of the Turkish Saljuk mosque or madrasa, in which the decoration would be concentrated around the entrance. In this case, the calligraphy forms a ribbon-like arrangement knotted right on the top of the pointed arch at the entrance. Clearly, the obvious place of using calligraphy is in recording, writing, and decoration of the Quran. In this image, the Egyptian frontispiece uses geometric vegetal design and integrated calligraphy. In the page from Assyrian Quran, the Kufic letters are written in black ink on vellum and decorated with gold. Another prominent place for the written word, of course, is hanging and decorative banners. In the banner of Las Navas de Tolosa, that was won as war spoils from the Almohads of North Africa during the reconquest by Ferdinand III, the banner is adorned with borders of Arabic inscriptions. Interestingly, the use of calligraphic design benefited those in power tremendously. The illuminated Tugra was a sort of royal trademark that reflected the familial lineage. It was used to authenticate the Ferman or the Ottoman king's signature under official rules. Also through political perspective also through a political perspective, one can argue that the uh, garment of Kaaba or Kiswa being commissioned by the Saudi rulers for many years and made by the Egyptians using gold and silver thread on heavy silk makes rather a political statement that reflects the power and prestige of both the Saudis and the Egyptians. Finally, the text found next to images frequently found in books of poetry is another example of use of calligraphy. In this page reflecting a poem by Saadi about Joseph and Potiphar's wife painted by the renowned 15th century Persian painter Bezad, the text is enclosed in blocks inserted into the architectural decorations filled with colorful and detailed tile work.